Of course it had to do with too much water, for potatoes are temperamental about the amount of water they receive. I am seeing prepositional phrases. I see this for, but I bet you that's not a preposition. Uh, and I'm marking those prepositional phrases. That's one way to start. The other way, of course, is to go after the verbs. Had, looks like an action verb. To have, to hold. It must be the subject. Here we've got an infinitive to do. We'll deal with that. We have are, a linking verb, the classic linking verb with its subject, and a predicate adjective jumping back over that linking verb and describing the subject. Uh, and we've got receive, which looks like, an looks like an action verb with its subject, they. Peculiar looking, isn't it? Let's walk back uh, to um, the prepositional phrases of, is the preposition object of the preposition. This is going to be adverbial. It's a good example of a prepositional phrase that does modify everything that follows it, washes across the sentence. Adverbial prepositional phrase. I won't draw an arrow. With too much water is adverbial as well. It's modifying this infinitive. Um, in fact, it's joining with the infinitive to create an infinitive phrase. Here's the preposition. We've had one just like this. Here's the object of the preposition. Uh, much water, and it's too much water. Uh, that infinitive phrase to do with too much water is functioning as a noun. It had what to do with too much water. All of this phrase now is functioning as the direct object of the verb had. Sorry about that. And then what we've got here is one of the less common coordinating conjunctions, and, or, nor, for, yet, so, but. Uh, this is just a coordinating conjunction signaling that on one side is an independent clause and on the other side is an independent clause. Um, not too much tricky about the amount, preposition, little definite article modifying the object of the preposition. Uh, this is adverbial talking about temperamental, modifying temperamental. The amount of what? Of water. Just the object amount is being modified by this prepositional phrase. And then we have this peculiar they receive. And in fact, it's not peculiar. What we have not deigned to write in this sentence is the relative pronoun that. If we were to read this clause again, for potatoes are temperamental about the amount of water that they receive. Leave the that in, take the that out. For grammatical purposes, we have to understand that it is there. And this next point is one that perturbs students. That relative pronoun, out of order, is in fact the direct object of the clause that it is in. It's a dependent clause, it's a relative clause. They received what or whom? They received that. All of this relative clause is describing water. Tell me more about the water, the water that they receive. I think that's it for this. Looks like it.